Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I apply cake paste to my orchid. Cakey is just a baby from the mother plant. Um, there's two ways actually that you can propagate orchids. One is through the cakey or the baby. And the other one that I know is through the seeds which takes forever because they grow them in the flask and that takes years and years so this one is easier for me and faster as well so material that I will be using is a cakey paste I got this from since last year so so this is uh, cakey po power pro that's what it's called I got this from Amazon I believe it's like ten dollar, eleven dollar, something like that. So, and this is what it looks like. You can see right there. It's like a paste. Very, it's a, it's very greasy actually. And we just need a stick to like an applicator you can use whatever I prefer to use this so when is the right time or the best time to apply cakey paste to an orchid so actually if you can see right here excuse my uh, my dirty hands I just mix my orchid mix so uh, with charcoal and all that so that's why it's dirty right now anyway if you can see the node right here it's green that means that's the right time to do it and the flowers are blooming because when you wait until that's just based on my experience if you wait until the flowers are done blooming um, this will dry out too and doesn't develop into a cakey so what I do, I'm going to peel, you see this covering, so I'm going to peel that, I'm just going to use my nail because they are very delicate and I don't want to, you can use a knife but I don't want to, so you just use your finger very carefully, kind of peel that. Now, so that's exposed now, right there. And now I'm going to apply cakey powder, up cakey paste. So, with our applicator, we just get some. And then I'm going to apply along the nodes right here. I'm not gonna cover the, I don't know what you call this, but this tiny, just along the node. Do not cover the whole thing, just below it, like that. In weeks from now, it will start forming cakey. So, if you can see, I applied cakey in all of the nodes here and then the other one down here because there is a 50 50 chance you might get a cakey or another flower spike. So actually you don't know which one is going to develop into a cakey. But if you have a lot of nodes that you applied to, you have a lot of chance to get a cakey. So the why I, I, I like 
um, using a cakey paste or to to make cakey one is if I love the flower I, if I like the orchid and I want exactly the same um, orchid let's say it's very rare that um, that's how you can get a clone from your orchid the same exact characteristic of the mother plants of the mother orchid unlike if you're using seeds if you're growing orchids from seeds there's a tendency that um, they won't look like the mother plants you have the parent you have two parents basically the one that you get the pollen and the one that you make the seed pods so this one it's and it takes years for the orchids to grow from seeds a lot of work so that's why I love using cakey paste for my orchids and that's how I do it guys let me know if you like it and don't forget to like and subscribe